How's it going, everyone? With the legal tampering period right around the corner and free agency about to open in the coming of days, the Packers have decided to keep one of their own. So per Rob Domofsky, he sent out a tweet saying, per sources, Packers have re-signed tight end Tyler Davis, the backup slash special teams ace who tours ACL in the preseason last year. He's expected to be ready for the start of training camp, if not sooner. And with this, the Packers are keeping one of their top special teamers. So in 2022, he did account for 80.84% of all special team snaps and was one of the top players on special teams for Rich Basaccia. Going into last season, he was kind of going to be dependent on in the, the special teams area. But unfortunately, during the preseason, he tore his ACL and that was short lived. But with that, the Packers keep one of their top special teams players from 2022 into this season. The deal hasn't officially been announced by the Packers or the media, but it's expected to kind of be a one year deal considering last year he signed a one year deal and will probably be at the league minimum since he hasn't really done much with his career. He'll end up being most likely the fourth tight end spot out of all of our tight ends, especially with Luke Musgrave and Tucker Kraft being the one and two. Then Ben Sims kind of also emerging during his rookie year and will probably get the number three spot. So Tyler Davis will mainly be a special teams player for us. Now, luckily with this potential deal that we do expect to be a minimum, if it doesn't work out, they could just cut them and it won't be a real loss financially to the Packers. So this could be a win-win in a sense, getting a nice cheap special teams player that did well for us in special teams one year and hopefully help this special teams unit get better or he doesn't hack it and we cut him because we find better players, especially with 11 draft picks going into this year's draft. I'm sure we could find some contributors in the special teams department. So he's not a lock on this roster at all, even with this re-signing. But just coming up with an update. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, go Pack Go!